but it raises so many more. What if I had stayed in LA? How many championships could we have won? What if the Pistons had drafted Carmelo Anthony? What if Kevin Durant was drafted number one overall in the 2007 draft? What if Steph Curry slipped one more draft spot to the Knicks? But what if you could make the decisions? What if you were down 3-0 in the finals? Could you build a team to mount the greatest comeback of all time? What if you had the opportunity to create any lineup for any game? What if you could choose players from any era to build the greatest team of all time? How would you answer? Zdarce celi, vítám vás u prvního dílu na moji kariéru v NBA 2K15. Takže pustíme se do toho. Jsem zadavý, čekám o to hodně, stejně jako ve 14. NBA Draft Day. With the 60th pick in the 2014 NBA Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Jeremy Brown from Oklahoma City. Ah, this guy, and he's terrible. Good night, everyone, and thanks for coming. There's my guy. Your guy? Your guy? Your guy was told by his agent that he was going to be a late first round, maybe second round draft pick. Your guy's supposed to be in New York with the rest of those chumps. Your guy, your guy's about to blow his freaking lid because his dream of being in the NBA is still just a dream. Hey, chill, man. I know this isn't how we wanted it to go down. Believe me. Like I told you, you're my last best hope at the agency. If you wash out, I wash out with you. But I was thinking. Maybe this was the best thing that could have happened to you. How you figure that, genius? Better to go undrafted and have a choice than to be picked late by a stacked playoff team where your chances of making the team are about as high as my chances of dating a supermodel. Which, despite my contagious charm, are pretty freaking slim. So what's the move, man? This just affects our timing, okay? You just gotta keep working hard and be ready. Injuries, overhyped draft picks. Sooner or later, players are going to wash out and they are going to call you. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. Good. Remember, Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team and made fools pay for it the rest of his career. Use the draft day slight as motivation. A chip on your shoulder at the beginning of a long journey. And like every journey, this one begins with a single step. So your first step is to keep working hard. And we'll find you a home before you know it. All right, man. I'm believing in you, bro. Make it happen. Undrafted. Yeah. Basketball has been my life since day one. What am I going to do now? This can't be the end. Is my dream really dead? OK, takže tohle je úvod do úvodního dílu NBA kariéry. Vidíte, že se nás nevybrali v draftu, takže co se dá dělat? Nedá se svítit a my musíme tvrdě makat. Ale jsme se dostali tam, kam chceme, takže moje kariéra právě tímto dílem začíná. Takže jdeme na to. O 6 měsíců později. Hm, okay. I know you've been staying in shape, working hard on your game, waiting for your shot. Yeah, so when's that gonna be? Because you told me not getting picked was a good thing. It was. It was. This is America. Freedom of choice and all that good stuff. <laughs> and that is why I'm here. Now is the time. Teams are able to offer 10-day contracts at this point, and I've been on the phone non-stop. There is some definite interest in you. What's that mean? I get to pick where I want to go? 
<laughs> oh, it's not that easy, my friend. I, but there are several teams willing to give you a, a little tryout, see if it makes sense for them to sign you. Listen, man. First of all, you're not my friend. You're my agent. And second, where's the list? Because I'm ready to play. Keep in mind that these teams have varying levels of interest. If you want the 10-day deal, you're going to have to work a lot harder to impress some of these teams than others. Man, I don't care about that. Where's the list? Okay, here's the list. Let me know where you want to go and I'll make it happen. Hmm, Phoenix. Come to the last one, I'm Milwaukee. Washington Wizards, Toronto. Zkusíme. Den, kde jsme začínali minulou sezónu, tak zkusíme něco jiného. Třeba. Ne, Phoenix ne. Zkusíme to Milwaukee teda. procent. Je to přes půlku a risk je zisk, takže jdeme do toho. Chtěli byste, aby jsem to stříhal, tak já tedy od těch zápasů to budu stříhat. Na ty moje akce. Aby se nám nešlo víc zápasů do jednoho dílu. Takže... Že to bude pro všechny lepší. Practice game. You obviously didn't have the kind of college career or pre-draft workouts that justify being drafted. But we saw enough in your game to bring you in for a look. What you do with that chance is all on you. You'll be running with the twos against the ones, so nothing's going to come easy. Obviously, this team has some veteran leadership and some explosive young talent. But we wouldn't have brought you out here if we didn't have legitimate interest. So the time for talk is over. Let's see what kind of game you got. I got all the game you need. Believe that. Okay, then we're going to play with this board. Come on. You're manula. You're manula. Sorry. So let's get a piece of foul. Tak, musím se zase do toho dostat. Jak říkám, hrajou to po dlouhé době. Nice. Tak. Vodíme, jak mi to půjde. Ale se vám bude líbit ta moje kariéra, protože ta kariéra v NBA je hodně zajímavá. Dobrý zaskok. Dobrý, máme C+, plus, takže... Čílej! Ach jo, si. No, dobrý. Přes dva vedem. Hmm. 
Knight. A Julia. Ale asi ne, na to dobré, aby z něho mohl dát bod. Ne, to jsem podělal. Dobrý, ale balon zůstává u nás, tak to je hlavní. Ani se trefím, ty jo. Dobře. Dobrý. Spoň, že furt máme balón. Asistence. Paráda. Ne, nedávej bod. Dobrý. A ještě rozkok, paráda. Hm. Výdáci. 6 9 verem. Paráda. No, takže co k tomu říct, budu potom ještě začít sezónu, protože to jde zkrátit na 14 zápasů, ale. To je někdy až moc málo, že na zápasu, že to dáme na 28. 28 zápasů tam dám a uvidíme, jak to půjde. To bylo hodně naivní. Sum 11. 42 vteřin. Tam skončí tento trénink. Ne, nedám ani rinko, ještě jo. Dobrý, první můj koš. Teď vteřin před koncem. No, nevadí. Zajímavý pokus, vyhráli jsme 8-13. Teď by mě zajímalo, co mi řekne kouč po zápase. Jo, Rookie. Hm? Some of my colleagues thought it might have been a fluke. What? Said there's no way an undrafted rookie could be that good. I so what do you think? I think you can do it every day of the week. You sound like a smart man. And the smart man has some advice for you. What's that? Tell your agent to stay by his phone. That's right. If there's any way we can get you here, we will. Wow. To zní hodně dobře. Tak, máme to dobře rozetík. Uvidíme, jak se to nakonec vyvrbí. Agenda zůstane na telefonu. Což je teď nejhlavnější. Tak, vyzkoušeli si mě. 
Move, man. What are you doing? We got our foot in the door. The Bucks have offered you a 10-day deal. Why not a year? Because you're an undrafted, unproven commodity. But they saw enough to take a flyer on you. So you have exactly 10 days, 240 freaking hours to show that you belong. You perform? You got a shot at a guaranteed deal for the rest of the season. We both live to breathe another day. You don't. You got a shot at being last in a long line of might events. And I'm probably out on the street, too. Living in this rat hole. Hello. Rat hole? This is all I can afford because you didn't get me drafted. <laughs> Let's call it a charming fixer upper. Now pack your bags. We're going to the show. Yeah, boy. I'm going to the league. I got my foot in the door and I'm going to kick this sucker down, man. <laughs> you better. I don't want to ruin any more suits sitting on these vermin infested couches of yours. Man, it's my house you're talking about. Finally. I'm in the league. Okay, next thing we're in PlayStation. No Milwaukee. Kancelář generálního manažera. You did well in the workout and in the scrimmage. He's a baller. You give him a legit shot and he's gonna make the most of it. I mean, when it comes down to crunch time, there's no one... Huh. Ten days, my man. We'll see if he can swim with the big fish. If he does, he might have a shot to be signed for the rest of the year. He might even find himself a spot in the rotation. If not, son, he's back on the streets. You ready? I'm ready, willing, and able, sir. You'll see. Good. Get out. Okay. This is another set of new schools to Milwaukee Bucks. And it's the cup now. That's the preparada. Takže si dáme zápas ještě. To je takový hodinový úvod do NBA, mojí kariéry, takže jdeme na to. Hmm. Uh, zajímá mě mě teďkon... Já to se hodně máš potom, takže my jdeme hrát zápas. First NBA game, OK. So you're the rookie that's gonna shock the world, huh? Sure as heck gonna try. Good, I'm glad you're here. Just remember, it's all out there for you. Work hard, listen, watch how we do, and you got a chance to be something special. Now let's see what you got. Thanks. I'm happy to be here, man. I'm pumped. Let's do it. Okay, then we're at the home. Tak, můžeme se i vytěšit na ten zápas, ten už možná bude sestříhaný, takže jdeme na to. Tak ještě ne. Pořád ne, snad teď. It's Eastern Conference time for the oh, traveling man. Milwaukee Bucks today. Welcome to the Tuesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan to call the game with our analyst Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Taking a look at Miami. These guys have been getting it done pretty much every day. Get up. You're going in. Here we go. Sorry. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Knight kicks to Middleton. The dish to Henson. 
The pass tonight. All right. Six on the shot clock. Maybe. Pulls up. They get the rebound. The shot's good from Henson. Not just now. Henson's got his first basket of the night. Uh, Boy, where is the box at? And you can tell by how my bread stack up. In the skies, it is absolute bed stack. Stakes on the glass. We'll kill the team. Anderson, he's checked in for Josh McRoberts. Well, Steve, a big moment here. We get a glimpse coming off the bench of the first official NBA appearance from Flash. Well, Clark, here's a guy with quite the story. Didn't get picked on draft day. Couldn't find a team until this point in the season. Well, Kevin, you know because of that, he's going to be playing motivated. Often events like that will give a player an added edge, and I don't think there's anybody in the building more motivated than this. Chalmers best to Bosch. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. Eight points for Chris Bosch. That's his fourth straight make right out the shoot. He's setting a pretty high standard for himself here. Yeah, it's the kind of start you want every game, but of course you rarely get it. Here is Bayless, averaging 10 points per contest. Oh, Here's Henson. It's another look. And he lays it up and in. Henson's got his second basket. Well, I tell you what, the post play has been rock oh. solid right off the bat. Well, that's the key to basketball. Get the ball inside into the paint, either with a pass or with penetration. And Cole kicks to Dang. Feeds Dang. it to Cole. Cole. Back to Dang. And there's Mario Chalmers on the assist by Dang. Dang's got three assists tonight. Uh, yeah. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. Here's Flash. Miami grabs the miss. They traveled to Milwaukee last time they faced the Bucks. And they came away with the win. Now the last beating was, was a successful one. Very sharp defensively, causing a lot of turnovers, and that swayed the game in their favor. Here's the screen. Shot denied. And now here comes Dan, leading the break. Bosch, the screen. And Cole kicks to Chalmers. To the middle. Here's Anderson. It's rebounded by oh, Flash. Looking at Miami, they took their win in their last game against the Bulls in Chicago. And it was the role players uh, in that game, Kevin. And that's the very first basket right there, folks, of what is hopefully a very long and, and a very prosperous career for Flash. First of many, I would expect, Kevin. He's going to be piling up points for many years to come. Guys, no reason to think otherwise. I mean, everything we know and everything we've seen from this guy so far points to an illustrious career. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game. Bosch. Dang comes in for Williams. Oh, Mario Chalmers, he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And Cole subbed in for Napier. A big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Henson's checked in for Sanders. Chris Middleton comes in for Ilyasova. Flash is checked in for O.J. Mayo. And Jared Bayless subbed in for Knight. Setting the floor for the Bucks. Parker and Henson, the duo inside. Flash out there with Jared Bayless. And it's Middleton in at the three slot. So they did a good job in the first quarter getting themselves to the line, but here in the second, they've gone away from it. Well, everything's become perimeter oriented, Clark, and you really have to be penetrating and looking inside to keep that defense honest. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. The Heat have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. Yeah, it's been an average year at the line for them uh, so far this year, shooting about 75%. You know, you don't have to tell them what their free throw numbers are. I mean, they're well aware of it, believe me. And the free throws are starting to pile up a little bit here, more so than in the first quarter. And that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. Now Bayless. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And Middleton kicks to Bayless. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. 
prvního poločasu. Hráme o 10 bodů. Takže pohor v kabině. We're not going to let this game get away from us. Number one, we've done really well in limiting our turnovers. The last thing we want to do is give them extra possessions, and so far we haven't. But let's not get crazy patting ourselves on the back. There's still plenty we can do to improve. Let's see us make. Let's see. 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 Williams, he's checked in for Josh McRoberts, and it's Napier in for Cole, Marshall. and then for Milwaukee. Parker comes in for Eliasova, and it's Marshall in for Chris Middleton. On the perimeter, Wade and Dang. Sean Williams is out there with Chris Bosh, and it's Napier in at the point guard position. Right. That's the Marshall. group in the game for the Heat. Five to shoot. Right Here's Knight. Buries it from about 10 right. feet away. Knight's got four points this quarter. But you remember early in Eric Spolster's head coaching career, he knew when the three were assembled. There were some people questioning Spolster's career. Wayne Wright. And he has become an excellent head coach. Anderson, he's checked in for Sean Williams. Milwaukee also making some changes. Henson comes in for O.J. Mayer. And Flash is subbed in for Brandon Knight. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kevin, as you know, Dwayne Wade is one of the best pump fakes in the NBA. And he'll tell you he picked it up from Sam Cassell. Of course, you remember Sam was playing in Milwaukee when Wade was at Marquette in the same town. Wade knows how hard it is to deal with pump fakes. I buy two, not as much, but guys get me. I get mad every time because I'm like, that's my move. Guys, back to you. Yeah, he's a piece of work, isn't he? <laughs> Thank you, Doris. Flash passes to Henson. Here is Bayless. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. That one wide Hola. left. Hola. And Coach Spolster, no, known for his work ethic and attention to detail, he's a grinder. No question about it, Kevin. Got his start as a video coordinator so back when everything Flash. ran on VHS, so you know he had to do an awful lot of work. And he's worked his way up slowly, but. Surely he's grown all the system and there's some terrific mentors and now he's really, I think, one of the best head coaches in the game without question. He's visited college football training facilities, NFL camps. He really tries to broaden his position. He sure does. And you can see evidence of that in how he handles it. And a foul from the shot got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, the Miami Heat since the Big Three assembled has been a polarizing team. Some fans rooted for them, others rooted against them. Either way, they've been an incredible story for the league and have become just a, a huge draw around the NBA. And now with the Big Three era coming to an end, Miami now perhaps one of the more hated teams around the NBA, but Clark, they are still at the forefront of the league scene in the East. And while they might have lost a bunch of the bandwagon fans, by no means is this team finished with being the title threat. There's just too much talent on this roster, and for the first time in a long time, they might enjoy being viewed as underdog. Passes it to Flash. 13 feet away. Good on the shot. Here's Napier. He has five. There's 49 seconds left to play in the third. Right side, Bosch. Shot clock at six. And the big shot is good. Bosch has got the lead up to 13 now for Miami. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. Here's Marshall on the money from 12 feet away. Marshall's got five points so far. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Neighbor gets to Chalmers. He feeds it to Bosch. Good, it's Chalmers with the assist that time. 14 points for Chris Bosch. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. 
And it's not just their passing, but they're cutting their movement together as a unit that's led to that. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. And two shots coming up. And he makes the first. The Heat making a switch here. That one is no good. Outside Dang. And it is good at the wow. buzzer. Wow. Pretty shot without a second. Tak je za námi třetí čtvrtina, dostáváme pěkně na zadek. And let's quickly have a look at the State Farm assist of the game, which came, Steve, from a kind of an unlikely source here. Yes, the big fella here. So they hit with some changes. Uh, Anderson comes in for Josh Lou. McRoberts. And it's Chalmers in for Luol Dang. And Milwaukee also Lou making a switch. Him. Chris Middleton's checked in for Parker. On the court for the Bucks. Ilya Zobin, and Sanders in the middle. Knight and Mayo man the back court. For position. <laughs> A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Cole dishes to Chalmers. Oh, and that no. one's good. Chalmers has got seven now in this quarter. An excellent display of passing out there, fellas. I mean, eight of their last ten points have been assisted on. Well, they continue to find the open man and play unselfishly. This is true team basketball we're seeing. There's the pick. Here's Walters. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. And that's why teams emphasize the use of screens and picks just to get you some open looks like that one. And Cole kicks to Chalmers. Pass to Anderson. Dishes to Cole. Outside Williams. Some nice yeah. ball movement here by the Heat. Sanders passes to Flash. Now here's Dudley. Defense right on him. Four on the shot clock. And okay. another basket for Come Milwaukee. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he oh. drains those. Cole dishes to Williams. And that's, uh... Anderson outside. Guys, we see teams taking a more data-driven approach. Analytics now, a big part of things. You see that in the front office. And, and Steve, that brings in some new faces. Yeah, in fact, in the wow. last two years, over a third of the NBA teams have hired new decision makers. So only a couple played in the league, the majority being, you know, more of the uh, analytical types. So there's definitely been a sea change in terms of NBA leadership. That's good. Well, they found the touch here in the second half from the field. and. Everything else we talk about, folks, rebounding, defense, all of that, this game is still about oh. making shots. You got to put the ball in the basket. That's the bottom line. And they found a way to do it here in the second half. That puts the nail in the coffin. A clinic in terms of how to play with the lead right there. For the Milwaukee Bucks, they come in off the loss to the Spurs in San Antonio. And guys, with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who's watched it. I mean, just a total mismatch in a, a true show of strength for the Heat. You know, Clark, when you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooters. Well, you said it all there, Kevin. They were lethal from behind the arc. And guys, at this point in the long NBA season, this will go down as win number 25. You know, this is the third consecutive matchup for them uh, against these guys in the season series. It just seems to, to be a really good matchup for them. Yeah, it does. And there's one more game to play in this nah. season series. And barring any major changes to their team, I think the sweep will be in order. And Cole kicks to Anderson. Oh, Pass to Chalmers. Man. Now here's Williams. Anderson outside. And he uh, kicks it to Ennis. Let's it go from 11. Cannot hit. Now the Bucks take it the other way. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. Walters releases from the wing and drills it. Well, their offense has kicked into gear, but it seems to have arrived a little bit too late. And as a coach, that can really be frustrating. I mean, you guys were stumbling along for most of the game, and now when it's basically over, they finally decide to come alive. Here's Cole. Mm 
Vamos ali para o Militão. Here's Flash. No good there. And so Miami right. takes this one by a big margin. And this one was such a one-sided victory. They never let us. They were full from the start. So they'll do it for now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris.